allows you to paint that area underneath. What most people don't realize is that mobile phone towers. That entire area is affected by the directional transmitter that's actually communicating with that tower. And put a shielding paint on the wall. Matter of fact, 95% of those circuit cutter switches installed without consultation are installed incorrectly and there's no benefit. Okay, welcome here in New Plymouth, New Zealand. Um, we've been, we're blessed that we've been approached by uh, Hemp Technologies Limited who build very health conscious homes to uh, help them incorporate radiation shielding into their, uh, into their project. Um, now, behind us we've got a, a nice mobile phone tower. Of course, this one looks particularly daunting because it has that big metal frame. Um, but when we look at the amount of transmitters that are hanging on it, uh, of course, we see those sorts of things around most suburbs all over the place anyway. And of course, that exposure to radiation uh, only ever gets worse. Um, so we've got the building uh, here behind me. Um, so we're going to take some measurements on site, see what the exposure is at present. And it'll be great to see when the whole project is finished. Uh, what those uh, levels inside uh, will become once we're uh, once we're done. Okay, uh, Robert, uh, if I can ask you, uh, why the interest in in putting the the shielding into place in this property? Well, um, I've had a long-standing interest in um, health um, things, and um, so this is a a hemp um, industrial hemp construction home, um, which is very environmentally um, conscious and all of that. And so it only made sense to go ahead and um, include this technology. Okay. Mm. And are you aware of other builders in New Zealand um, incorporating this? Um, I'm not aware of any. In fact, I'm aware that there are no others, as far as um, I've heard. Yeah, I mean, you know, we do get customer inquiries and, and mm. people you know, bringing this to their builder to put it into place, but mm. you know, we're, mm. we're not aware either mm. of builders that say, well, mm. we're going to make this yeah. part of the uh, the project, either standard or as an option. That's right, yes. Um, no, I have no um, knowledge of anybody else doing it mm. from the get-go. So. And what are the, because uh, I understand you guys are, are, are very on to, you know, health and making a healthier environment. Yes. Um, what other benefits uh, are incorporated into the house and the technologies? Right, um, we're keeping the chemicals out as much as we can. I mean, the binder material for the, the hemp um, itself is, um, is very low in just about everything, so yeah. it's very, very friendly. Um, the paints that we're going to be using are um, uh, breathable paints, and again, uh, no toxic nasties in there. Yeah, yeah, very good. Um, Basically, those are the main technologies. Yeah. And these uh, these homes, I mean, obviously we're in New Plymouth at the moment, but um, will these homes be available throughout New Zealand or beyond? Yes, Hemp Technologies has got um, interests in various countries, and uh, this is sort of like um, the first example of using the um, EMF protection technology, but um, like I said, it'll be, it is the first, and it'll be the first of many, I'm sure. Yeah, well, we look forward so, to it. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. <laughs> Great. Okay, here we are inside the property. As you see, they're in the, uh, the timber framework uh, stage at the moment. Um, so let's have a look at what that radiation exposure at the present time is in this bedroom. Uh, this instrument measures microvolts, you know, what the body is exposed to. Um, so let's, uh, let's have a look. Okay, so as you could see, that value uh, you know, was kind of hovering around the 1400, 1500 microvolts, so it's of course very high. Um, ideally, we would like that measurement to be you know, under 100, uh, even better yet, under 30, but never quite sure uh, what you will achieve, um, so we just have to keep our fingers crossed. Um, so, what we're going to be doing here, or what M Technology is going to be doing here actually, um, they're going to apply the shielding paint, the T98 Alpha, to the inside of the external walls basically creating a larger 
box with the ceiling also shielded so it's a, it's a larger box which is radiation free or low level radiation um, and then of course the windows do remain unprotected so we do need those covered as well so for that we have our Nova shielding fabric which is a uh, uh, it's actually silver plated copper wiring encased in polyester it's uh, quite a feat of engineering um, but besides it actually looking attractive uh, which normally fabrics, uh, shielding fabrics don't. Um, this actually has exceptionally high um, shielding abilities as well, which is of course equally important. Um, so that's basically how that box is being created. So it'll be interesting to see what those levels will become um, when we're done. Now, we are doing something here with the wiring as well. Uh, internal wiring is still the most common source of radiation exposure. We find it in about 90% of bedrooms that it's just uh, you know, exposing people to constant electric field exposure all night long. Um, so in this property, um, we've worked with the electrician um, and we're just gonna ro run that wiring a little bit different. It was new for the electrician. He was quite interested about it because you know, he does normal electricity work all the time and all of a sudden he's in healthcare. He was quite excited. Um, so we're just gonna run that wiring slightly different and then we're gonna team it up with um, the circuit cutoff switches. The circuit cutoff switch is going to be installed in the meter box. They're going to monitor the flow and usage of electricity on that circuit. When the usage of electricity stops, um, then this switch will cut the power to that entire circuit. And all associated radiation with that circuit is completely eliminated. When somebody, let's say in the middle of the night, wants to turn the light on, to go to the bathroom, as soon as they turn that switch on, this realizes that power is once again requested and it instantly restores the power. So it's business as usual. You almost wouldn't know that they're installed. They do come with a check light though. So the people living here will be able to, to monitor this check light. When they turn their bedside light off, this light should go off as well. Uh, if it stays on, it prompts them that something was forgotten to be turned off. Uh, so it's just a little bit of a habit to get into at this night. So, yeah, very exciting to kind of see all this project uh, come to fruition. Um, so, uh, yeah, I can't wait to come back in uh, a number of months' time and, uh, and see uh, what, uh, what we're left with when the whole project is, uh, is completed. All right, well, just for interest, let's go and have a look around the property and just take a couple of measurements. It'll be interesting to see because it, it can fluctuate quite a lot. Um, here we are entering the, the uh, going to be garage. Yeah. Okay, so about 800, 900, 700 in there. And if I go to the far end, edge of the garage. That's off the scale, 2000. See how, you know, it varies so much. Of course, the outputs of the tower also varies, but they can also be things in the surroundings, metal roofs from nearby houses, there's there's so many kind of things that all play part in it. And so it's quite quite interesting to see. Um, so that's the uh, the mass bedroom over here. Okay, so in this particular spot in the master bedroom, about 14, 15, 1600 microwatts. Let's walk to the other side of the, the property. Okay, this particular spot, middle of the house. Okay, varies quite a lot, it's kind of between a thousand and thirteen, fourteen hundred. Okay, in the lounge room over here. In the middle of the lounge room basically. Say so her again, that was again over two thousand microvolts. Um, so yeah, it's a, it varies as you can see, and we've we have seen that taking some earlier measurements as well. That it, it varies quite in, in different areas. So, of course, it's it's wonderful to just address all this in the entire house. Um, so the whole area. I mean, of course, the bedroom is most important because that's where we rest and our body's supposed to regenerate. 
and we need as little irritation as possible. Um, but of course, you know, you do want to spend a lot of time in the rest of your house as well, so you know, it's of course most ideal to address the issue uh, in, in the entirety of your house. Sadly, with the ever increasing amount of exposure outside, it, it seems to be that we have no control over what we are exposed to outside and your home is the only place where you have some manner of control. Um, and so yeah, we've got to take that opportunity.